In these boom cards, we're going to take a look at subtraction using an abacus or a wreck and wreck. That's what one of these is right here. Okay, so let's just jump in and take a look at what this is and how it works. In this example, we have a story problem up here, and you can always press this icon and it will read the story problem to you if you would rather do that. It says Lexi had 17 jelly beans and ate three of them. How many jelly beans does she have left? So we have a couple things here. Here we have the subtraction written out with numbers. Here we have a part part whole diagram. So we know 17 is the whole amount. Three is the part that she ate. And we want to find what's the part that she has left. So these two parts together combine to make 17. So we're gonna take a look at it using our number beads here, number rack. So on the top we have 10, and on the bottom we have seven here, that's five and two more. So down here it says 17, the whole amount, is made up of 10 and seven more. So this is what we're starting with, and we wanna take away three. So if we can take away three from seven on the bottom, then we do that. So here we have enough to take three away. So we move them over. You can use your mouse and move those over. If you wanna just send them flying off the page, you can do that too. So whatever you wanna to do to move three away. And then we'll see we have one, two, three, four left over here. So seven minus three, you'll type four in that box. Up here, we have an arrow that shows we didn't touch these, there's still 10. So we're just moving that over to show we have 10 beads and we have four. So our total, now we have 10 and four, that makes 14 here. Okay, so that is how you fill out the basic boom cards here. When you're done, you hit submit. And if you're right, it will send you to the next screen. If you're wrong, you have a chance to fix your mistakes. So it will give you a couple of those. Then you'll have a chance to try it using numbers only without pictures. And then we get to the part where we work on our strategy that's called take from 10. So if you get to a place where you have something like 13 minus seven, let's do this one together and talk through how this works. This says Liz wants to earn $13. She already has $7. How much more does she need to earn? So we have our numbers, our part, part, whole diagram, and our beads here. So here our uh, whole amount is 13. That's made up of 10 and three more. And we want to take away seven. Okay, there's a lot of ways to do this, but with these boom cards, we're focusing on one particular strategy. Since we can't take seven away from these three, we're gonna move up here and take seven away from the 10. And the reason we're using this strategy is because if you get really good at working on your combinations of 10, then you are going to be so good at subtraction because you can instantly, once you get enough practice, know that if you have 10 and you take away seven, look at that, that means you're left with three. So we took away seven from our 10, we have three left, so we're gonna type three in this box. And then on the bottom, we did not touch the original three. Those are still there. So that number three is there. And look how many we have left. We have six beads left over. So it's $6 in this case. So this is the strategy we'll be working on for these boom cards. Once you get really good at this, you can practice using other strategies. But for now, we're going to work on using our combinations of 10 to take a number away from 10 if we can't take it away from the smaller number. And then at the end, we combine our leftovers. So this is going to get you really good at doing mental math and be a great setup for when you get to bigger numbers. So you'll go through and practice a lot of these. And then you'll get to a point where you have just numbers again. And again, you'll work on just taking it away from the 10 and then combining your leftovers. And then when you get good at all of that, you get to move up to bigger numbers. So we add another row to our wreck and wreck here. And you do the same thing. If you can't take the number away from the small amount of beads, then you take it away from a 10 because we're gonna work on getting really good at those combinations. So you can do that quickly. 
then you just look and see what's left and combine the leftovers. All right, so that is a quick overview of how this deck works. And you will have a chance to practice getting really good at subtracting using the strategy of taking from 10. Have fun.